Welcome to the RackForms Builder Demo. So before we get started, I just want to really quickly uh, point out, which is that uh, if you watched the first video, you hopefully saw that RackForms has a lot of features. And I think if you do a comparison, you're going to find that RackForms has way more features than, than anybody else in our, in our market. But what's really, really key about that is as much as we showed in the video and as much as we left out in terms of form creation, it is really important to note that that is literally only half of what RackForms is. RackForms as a standard feature includes the Builder module. And the Builder module is basically the way that we turn from just a form building tool into an application creation environment. And so what is uh, Builder? Well, it's basically this. It is a way that we can query a database and show the results of that query that is grabbing information to our users. And it looks something like this. We run a query, we show fields from a database. So how do we actually do it? Must be complicated, right? Not really. Um, hopefully as you see it's pretty simple but it's also powerful. So the way we do something like this is we create a builder page type and again if you watch the first video we added form and confirmation pages here it's just a different page type and then to that page we add what's called the repeater module. The repeater module then is essentially a template based system for saying here's what fields I want to show from a database query. In this case the database query is select all from FB demo. This table then has a bunch of fields in there and at this point we're showing the ID, the name, and the age field. And therefore when we build this form that's what we show, ID, name, and age. However, it's really simple to change what we show. So let's say we instead want to show ID, name, and email. All I have to do is delete this token right here, go to our token chooser, and instead say, actually, I want you to show email right there. Notice now without any coding, we've changed ID, name, and now showing email. Of course, that's just the start of it. Uh, because this is a template system, we can do lots of really cool things. We can create search forms, um, delete forms, etc. Um, we can also create update forms. So what I'm going to do in this case is I'm actually going to take this simple template that we have here and delete its HTML and essentially start over. And we'll just show you how we build this from scratch. So we start with a fresh template. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a template now from one of these predefined templates right here. So in this case, I'm going to grab the three column multi update. Now when we insert this template in here, you can see that we've got these long strings. We can always toggle this display by clicking the toggle token display. Now what we can do is we can click this and we can change these fields using a nice editor right here. The point being, however, that when I build this form, now we have an update field. That is, instead of just showing our information to our users, we actually put these in text fields and I can now change these things and when I click update it's going to update the records. However, and this is really really key, is anybody who's ever built something like this knows it's really dangerous just to give random people uh, access to our database and therefore RackForms is really careful about providing you with tools to control access. So in this particular case what we've done here, and I'll actually show you this, if I actually try to edit this field and then hit update records it's actually going to revert back to what it had before, right? We actually can't get rid of this. And that's because by default, RackForm says you need to actually allow user updates to happen. So in this case, all I have to do is say user update mode equals multi row updates. And notice how we still have some options. We can allow file uploads, prevent null updates, etc. But the point being, without having to do any extra coding, RackForms has actually gone in, it's looked at our database, it's figured out what our primary key is, and a bunch of other good stuff. And now when I click this, now it has the permission to go ahead and update that record. So of course we can change these fields to whatever we want. So we can make Tony 45, and when we update it, he becomes 45. And we can make Bill 21, and when we end up update it, he becomes 21. So the point being here that, again, RackForms is going to allow us to create forms really easily. But as you just saw, with very little effort and using some really great tools, we can create forms that update as well. And of course, this is just one way of doing it. We also have the same ability when we actually uh, create standard forms as well using a slightly different mechanism. We're not going to get into that now, but the point is that with every other form building package, you are going to be limited to just forms. With rack forms, you can do both. You can create forms, you can create update forms like this, and then using the two combined, you can create applications. Now that's what we're actually going to take a look at in the next video, and so if you're interested in this type of work, uh, work right here, hopefully you'll join us for that next video as well.